The general definition of a dual sport is a street legal motorcycle that can handle both on-road and off-road use. In theory, that means pretty much every other bike from this Kawasaki KLX 300S all the way up to the Yamaha Super Tenere. But we are not gathered here today to argue over definitions. No, my friends, we are here to take a closer look at a dual sport motorcycle that people seem to either love or hate. And in comes the Honda CRF L lineup, their street legal series. At the very bottom of this CRF family, we find the very popular Honda CRF 300L and the rally version, a dual sport bike at its core, but people all around the world seems to be using it as an adventure bike due to its lightweight and easy maintenance schedule. And as I'm sure you already know, this is the very bike that Ichiboots normally is traversing Africa on. At the opposite end of the CRF lineup, we find the legendary Africa Twin, Honda's flagship adventure motorcycle. The CRF L lineup is a famous one, and the one Honda Dual Sport that divides riders all over the world sits at the very middle, between the 300L and the Africa Twin. I am of course talking about the Honda CRF 450L. Is it a heavy trails bike or a dual sport with short fuel range and frequent maintenance? Well, let's see if we can find out. Taking a closer look at the 450L, we find many interesting things. Like a 450 engine that shares DNA with their famous motocrosser, show a suspension front and back, and a wide ratio 6-speed transmission. And it looks really good as well. At a first glance, it looks like a promising bike. But it is when we take a closer look at its specs, we discover the first stat that people seem to critique its weight. Weighing in at 135 kilograms fully fueled, it is 17 kilograms heavier than the bike many consider to be the ultimate street legal dirt bike, the KDM EXE 500. And the KDM even has a bigger fuel tank. Some of that extra weight of the Honda is because it has a Kush drive hub, while the KDM 500 has a Kush hub inside the engine, it is according to this handsome Australian not as good as a Kush drive hub. While orange may not be everyone's favorite fruit, when it comes to off-road riding you simply cannot overlook the importance of a light bike. Next on the list of issues with the 450L as a trails bike is when things get technical. Flameouts has been one of the riders biggest gripe with the Honda. From a trail rider's perspective, with performance in mind, the 450L loses to its European counterpart in pretty much every aspect. And this is why it receives much of the hate, as can be read about on hundreds of pages on ADV Rider Forum. But I refuse to think that this is Honda's best effort at competing with the Austrian giants. I think Honda had a slightly different audience in mind when designing this bike. So let's look at it from a dual sporter's perspective. If we go back to the beginning of this video, we agreed, or I told you, that a dual sport motorcycle is a bike that can be ridden both on and off-road. While the KDM 500 is an excellent off-road machine, it is probably the least comfortable road bike in the world. And that is where the heavier, Kush drive hubbed Honda shines. And while it's heavier than the KDM, it is by no means a pig. At 135 kilograms with top shelf suspension, it is still a weapon on the trails. And even though it shares the same CRF name as its little brother, the 300L and the Rally, they really can't be compared. The 450L is closer to a race bike. Even though it's coming in at almost 11,000 US dollars, those who buy it seem to happily pay for the extra Honda premium, and for good reason. Honda is known for their high quality products, and unlike the 300L, this bike is made in Japan. Ultimately, Honda provided us with a high performance off-road oriented dual sport that has the potential to be that unicorn do-it-all machine. But if my theory about Honda developing this bike for the true dual sport segment and not to compete with the ultra high performing dirt bikes, I can't for the life of me understand why they didn't detune the engine even more. Oil changes at every thousand kilometers is much better than changes measured in hours, but it's still too intensive for a dual sport. Yes, they can be stretched out slightly, but still. 
Now that we know why the 450L receives both hate and love, I want to know what you think. Is it an overweight trails bike that will forever live in KDM's shadow? Or is it a true 50-50 bike that will outride every other dual sport on the market and still be able to cover some distance between the trails? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.